Okay, I've had um, quite a few requests just to run through the process for replacing the uh, super drive with another hard drive, um, often called the OptiBay solution. Um, so I thought I'd show you. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It takes about maybe 10 or 15 minutes tops. Uh, and if you've got a reasonable amount of dexterity, it's, it's very simple to do. Now the first thing you need to do, really, is to double check and to make sure that you actually have a SATA um, super drive. I think some of the older MacBook Pros, probably pre-unibody, had a parallel ATA one, so uh, I'll show you how to check. If you fire up the um, About This Mac, okay, which you'll see in the corner, okay, click on the um, More Info, and what we're looking for in terms of your super drive is to see whether it's under serial ATA or whether it's under ATA. If you look under ATA, you'll see that I don't have any ATA devices. But if I look under serial ATA, you'll see my um, my SSD there, and you'll see my DVD, my super drive, which is running on the, the serial ATA um, port. So we know that the OptiBay unit that we need needs to be the serial ATA, and not the, the parallel ATA of the older units. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll shut down the laptop and we'll look at um, the process of swapping out those drives. Um, before we do that, let's just have a quick look in this utility. Okay, you'll see that I've got my SSD and my DVD drive there. Okay, so what we'll do, um, shut down the laptop, we'll take it apart and I'll show you how to uh, swap the unit out. Right, here we are with our shutdown MacBook Pro. This is a 2011 17-inch uh, model, as you can probably tell by the size. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you how to uh, swap the units out. Now what I have, I have here the OptiBay unit. This is a serial ATA one, as you can see by the port. Um, I've also got my serial ATA hard drives. Now, just a quick point, if you put in a 9mm drive, that'll fit. You cannot use the bigger 12.5mm drives. That's a one terabyte one from Samsung. That's a 750 from Toshiba. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in this 750. So the first thing I need to do is pop the drive into the OptiBay. There we go. It's a real easy fit. And pop some screws into the bottom. Now just to keep this quick, I'm only going to pop two in. First one. And there's the second, so it's now secured. So obviously on yours, or if you're doing it properly, you put all four screws in. So now our hard drive is secured in the OptiBay. Okay? So the next thing we need to do is take the MacBook Pro apart. All you need for that is a simple small crosshead through screwdriver. Um, here's our MacBook. Okay, I'm going to flip it over onto its back. There we go. So the back is now facing me. So that's the back of the laptop. And what you have, there's four screws um, either side and two at the side. So we need to take them out. Now one thing to watch out for, three screws at the back are different lengths to the others. So make sure you pay attention as to which screws come from where. Okay, I've got some way to hold my screws. So we'll take out the ones at the back first. Okay, you can see that that's quite a long one, so make a note of that. And these next two will also be long units, long screws. Okay, so that's the three long ones. The rest of them will be smaller. Now be very careful with those because they're so easy to drop and they're a nightmare to find. Just on that note, by the way, I popped into an Apple store um, probably two or three months ago asked if they had any spare screws and they, they rather helpfully gave me a little bag of them which is uh, great service there we go, two more to go Alright, there we go, that's all our screws out. Now to get the back off, it's very simple, just pick it up at the back, you might find the corners are a bit sticky. Oh, 
<laughs> Forgot one of the screws. Yeah, obviously be careful of that. You don't want to bend the back of your laptop. That would ruin your day. There we go. So I pop back off. There we go. That's the inside of our MacBook Pro. Now, a bit of advice from experience. Take your watch off. Um, I was doing one of these once and my watch caught on one of the cables and managed to tear uh, the wireless card out, so be sensible and get rid of it. Okay, so if you look at the layout, the traditional drive bay is here, um, that's where you, I've got my um, super, super uh, sorry, my SSD in there, because that is a SATA 3 port, so it runs at 6 gig. Um, this one, the SATA bay here, where the super drive is, only runs at SATA 2 speeds, which is 3 gigabits. So if you've got a really fast SSD or a SATA 3 supporting SSD, pop it in that port there. Battery there, obviously. Um, this is the piece that we're going to replace. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll reposition the camera and just show you how we can do that bit there. <laughs> 